Hello! You already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the brake discs and brake pads on your vehicle, you will have to raise the front of the car and take off the wheels. This will provide you with full access to the brake discs. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Raise the front of the vehicle. And put it into axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the process. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Using a 13mm spanner, unscrew the lower caliper mounting bolt. Sometimes you have to stop the lock nut from turning by holding it with your fingers or with a 17mm spanner. Flip the caliper upwards. and remove the pads. You can slit them off by pushing them away from the disc. Using a wire brush, clean the noise dampening shims of the caliper on one side of the disc and then on the other. Put the caliper back into the initial position. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils on the suspension spring. Using a 13mm spanner, take off the upper caliper mounting bolt. Once removed, this should free the caliper. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using the cable you have already attached. To release the disc, insert a thin flathead screwdriver that can go between the edge of the disc and the brake caliper mount. Using a 40mm torque socket, release the two holding screws on the disc. Withdraw the screwdriver. Depending on the state of the nuts on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Using a T-handle and an 80mm socket, Loosen both screws that fasten the brake caliper mount. To save time, finish taking them off using the socket wrench. Take off the brake caliper mount. Finish by removing the screws that fasten the disc on so you can completely take it off. Clean the hub with a wire brush. And once that is done, coat it with copper grease. This will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. Before putting the new disc in place, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If the new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub.
Place the new disc onto the hub and rescrew the two fastening screws by hand as much as possible. Put the brake caliper mount back on, screwing by hand to begin with. And finish with a socket wrench and an 80mm socket to fix it completely. Reuse the screwdriver technique to stop the rotation of the disc. This will allow you to fully tighten the fastening screws of said disc. Replace the caliper and put it back in place. Start by first screwing the upper caliper mounting bolt and as always, start this process by hand and finish with a spanner to fully fix it in place. Don't forget to withdraw the electrical cable or string that you attach to hold the caliper. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease and slide them into the brake caliper mount. You can now replace the caliper and screw the lower caliper mounting bolt back on. Don't forget to use the new screw supplied and which has been pre-coated with thread locker. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on. And lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful, before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedals a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed.